In the town of Willow Creek, there was a bakery unlike any other. This bakery was run by a woman named Greta, who had the ability to infuse her baked goods with magic. Her bread would grant you good luck, her cupcakes would make you feel happy, and her pies would cure any ailment. One day, a young woman named Lily stumbled upon Greta's bakery. She had been feeling down lately and was hoping that a sweet treat would lift her spirits. As soon as she entered the bakery, she knew that there was something different about it. Greta greeted her warmly and asked her what she was in the mood for. Lily asked for a cupcake, and Greta handed her one that was topped with rainbow sprinkles. As soon as Lily took a bite, she felt a rush of joy fill her entire body. Over the next few weeks, Lily visited the bakery every day, trying a different baked good each time. She felt more alive than she had in years and couldn't help but wonder how Greta made such magical treats. One day, Lily decided to ask Greta about her secret. Greta smiled and explained that she had been born with the gift of magic and had honed her skills over the years to create the perfect baked goods. She offered to teach Lily how to bake with magic, and Lily eagerly accepted. Under Greta's tutelage, Lily learned how to infuse her baked goods with magic. She opened her own bakery in the next town over and quickly became known for her magical treats. As Lily became more skilled in baking with magic, she began experimenting with new flavors and ingredients. She even created a cupcake that could make someone fall in love, much to Greta's amusement. One day, while Lily was visiting the magical bakery, Greta handed her a small piece of paper with a mysterious recipe written on it. This is a family recipe that has been passed down for generations, Greta said with a sly smile. Use it wisely. Lily was intrigued and couldn't wait to try out the recipe. When she got back to her own bakery, she immediately got to work. She followed the instructions carefully, adding a pinch of her own magic to the mix. As the cupcakes baked, Lily could feel a strange energy in the air. She didn't know what was going to happen when she took a bite, but she couldn't resist trying one. The first thing she noticed was that the cupcake was the most delicious thing she had ever tasted. But then, as she swallowed, she felt a sudden rush of power surge through her body. She looked down at her hands and gasped as she saw sparks of magic flickering around her fingertips. Over the next few days, Lily experimented with her newfound powers. She could levitate objects with a flick of her wrist, conjure up gusts of wind to blow away unwanted customers and even make people disappear, although she quickly realized that was probably not a good idea. But with great power came great responsibility, and Lily knew she needed to be careful with how she used her magic. She went back to Greta's bakery to ask for her advice. Greta, I don't know what to do, Lily said, wringing her hands nervously. I feel like I'm becoming more powerful every day, but I don't know how to control it. Greta smiled knowingly. That's the thing about magic, my dear, she said. It's not something you can control. You have to learn to work with it, to guide it, but never try to force it to do something it doesn't want to do. Lily nodded thoughtfully, realizing that Greta was right. She needed to learn to trust her instincts and let her magic guide her. Over time, Lily became more skilled at using her magic and became known as one of the most powerful bakers in the land. But she never forgot the lessons she had learned from Greta, and the magical bakery remained her favorite place to visit whenever she needed a bit of inspiration. Thank you for listening.